Welcome to the weekend, Babe Ruth viewers. It was an incredible start to one tournament and an even bigger finish to another for Babe Ruth League Summer of World Series action all across the country. I'm Jess Cusimano, and this is your Hot Shot World Series Snapshot brought to you by Babe Ruth Network. It's time for the World Championship to see who is the best of the best out of the Cal Ripken Major 70 World Series. Yesterday brought a whole slew of well-deserved celebration as our teams came out under the Friday Night Lights with some great sportsmanship, teamwork, and athleticism to show us what this great game of baseball is all about. We would first like to give a great shout out to our Iron Bracket Champions Team Puerto Rico who defeated Team Ohio Valley 12-1 in the final to take the win. A big Babe Ruth congratulations to your 2015 Cal Ripken Major 70 International World Series Champions Team Mexico. These boys are now back-to-back -back champions with a 7-3 win over Japan. It was truly a towering team effort from this team as Joel Ibarra came up huge on the hill, pitching a great game and holding Japan to one hit. He homered in the fifth and continued to stay strong at the plate all game. Vidal Sotelo came in to close the game for Mexico, striking out six batters and allowing no earned runs. And nothing says congrats on a big win with coach like an ice-cold Gatorade bath provided by the elated players. They can celebrate now, but they have to get ready to do it all again and take things to the next level at the World Championship tonight. And for that game, taking on Mexico for the 12 and under 2015 World Championship, once again it's the West Raleigh, North Carolina, representing the Southeast region and the United States with a fantastic three win over the Mid-Atlantic last night. Sam Perez hit a shocking start home run for the team to start things off strong at the plate in the third. And backing up with a fireball arm, Timothy Pate struck out nine on the mound and only allowing two hits. With an early lead and the determination to fight together, these boys were able to succeed in becoming the Cal Ripken Major 70 2015 United States Champions. Celebrating with a packed crowd and a Gatorade-soaked coach, the smiles on these athletes' faces say it all. Way to play the Ripken way, boys. We couldn't be more proud of both our Babe Ruth champions. Don't miss out tonight to see who will take home the 2015 championship trophy. 8 p.m. Tune in to watch the game live on MLB.com to watch these future major leaguers play out on the Cal Senior Yard. We have seen incredible plays, teamwork, and heart from Cal Ripken players throughout this tournament. It's been a long week of baseball, but this moment, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. For the 2015 Babe Ruth Softball World Series, we had a terrific first day of pool play down here in Florida. Over at Champions Park in the eight and under age group, 14 great games were played and the bracket is set for day two. For our eight U play of the day, we have a great game against Washington, North Carolina and the Hamburg Chaos. Washington took the game seven to five with some great hits and an all-star number 13, Melanie, going three and three and getting a home run in the third inning. For 10U, 12 great, game, great games were played with some great pitching and some great team spirit out on the field. With the last game finishing late as the Wyndham Wildcats sparked a home run in the fourth inning rally that took them to a 12-2 win. With an inside the park home run by number 6 Cassandra and a two run inside the park home run by number 12 Alexis, out at the Hal Brady Sports Complex, the 12 U's played 20 awesome games in the first day of pool play, picking out of the player of the day Brianna Boggs for the Santa Fe All-Stars tagged out a runner stealing home, showing force as a catcher and leading the de defense as Santa Fe took a 6-4 win over WVAC. And finishing things up for the 14 and under division with 10 great games that showed some true World Series All-Star action. The Creeks Crushers took on the Ocala Shockers, gaining the victory 15-3. The Ron Telfson Player of the Game Award went to Mary Thompson, who drove the team to a great win with standout sportsmanship and power at the plate. Day one started off strong, but this great state of Florida threw a curveball at us for day two. With relentless weather today, play was suspended shortly after it started this morning for the 9 a.m. games. And when it rains, it pours here in Florida, and all games were canceled for today. Currently, the Babe Ruth Task Force is working on a solution as to when games will resume Sunday and how this will affect the remainder of the tournament. Be looking for a separate softball update link shortly on the Babe Ruth Softball Facebook page. All softball news shot here at the World Series will be posted in the Babe Ruth Softball World Series Alachua 2015 playlist. 
hoping that this rain will go go away because we have some softball to play. We have much more excitement to come here at the 2015 World Series in Alachua, so make sure to stay updated here at BRN, the Babe Ruth Network. I'm Jess Cusimano, and I will catch up with you Bambino Ball fans tomorrow with more World Series updates to throw at you.